Placing it. She's no, totally just, just using her body yeah, and making just marks. Make marks. Let's see what I have. Well, I think it's a great start. Exactly. But I never would have done that if I was standing and looking at it. Yeah. I would have been too self conscious about That's what right. I was doing. Yeah. That's right. So it's just, you know, you have to resort, I think, to all these little tricks and schemes to stay loose. Okay. It's not easy. But to see, do. that part is easy now that we've started mm -hmm. doing. But what to do next? That's the problem. What I would do personally is I would let it dry just a little bit. I would go in with some drawing tools. And then I would go in, if I was doing a, a neutral palette of painting on purpose, say, I would start veiling and obliterating. And that's what I would do. I would start veiling. It might wind up, if you kept on with that painting, you, it, it might wind up completely different than what you started with and, and where it is right now. It was I, one of those paintings that you had to fix. And so <laughs> it's so much that it's worse than fixed. You know, so, <laughs> no, you're being really hard on yourself. No, yeah. no, you I'm being hard on yourself. I'm trying to do uh -huh. what I learned. Right. Okay. And I'm having a real hard time because it's just now I think it's just a big yeah, easy right. going. I mean, you can so, make interesting shapes. So the only things you could do. If there's a painting you don't like, that's the one to experiment on. You don't like it anyway, so just keep going. 